For us to stop being selfish, stop Mm -hmm. thinking about what we want first, stop thinking about what we need, stop thinking about feeding our children or whatever it relates to the listener right now. Mm -hmm. And instead, we go to that service first, like you mentioned, Mm -hmm. and how do I serve first? And then you said, how do I create opportunities for other people? Yeah. Um, Like... It just seems scary, I think, for some people to be willing and, and ready to go all the way and, and, and say, all right, I'm just going to serve, like she said, but at whose expense? So mm-hmm. what, what are your thoughts? I mean, if, if we've got a listener that, you know, maybe is in that place where they, their, their podcast or their company is not making the money, do you recommend that they go to that service right now or... How, how would they go about it? Yeah, this is this is a tough one. And I can't, end, because there's so many different situations. I can only answer from, you know, my experience and, and my situation. Um, so that's why I, I preface that because it's so hard to give advice. I don't want to be like, oh yeah, like go all in on this. And as you said, at the expense, and you're, you find yourself, you know, living out of a car or something like that's not at all what, you know, I'm, I'm trying to say here. I think there's a balance to everything. Um, there's... There's always going to be a journey by which you, you're trying to figure things out, right? Like you're either, why is your business not working? For example, is it because again, you're in a red ocean and it's really hard to cut through um, to get to get your message out there? Uh, is it because, you know, the office wrong? Is it because like there's, there's something clearly broken in what it is that you're doing if it's not working, right? So that's probably, probably the first question that you need to ask. Sometimes we don't know. I know I was actually having a a conversation with, um, I mean, a a local mastermind here in Austin and uh, someone was bringing up the fact that they were so shocked because they were speaking to someone else, another entrepreneur who was part of six coaching programs, like six coaching programs. A, that's a lot of money, a lot of time. And you just know immediately that if you are looking for that much help, it's because you're floundering yourself. And why is that? Is that because you just don't love the business that you're already in? Is it because you, you know, you're, you're, you're actually trying to find the next thing. There's a, there's a root cause, right? So I think the first thing is like, find that root cause because that will tell you then essentially kind of quote unquote, how much time you have. Um, and then, because if it's something like I fundamentally just do not have the right business, I fundamentally in a step back from that, I don't even know who I'm serving. I don't even know why I'm doing this, for example, then that's going to take you potentially, depending on how quickly you work, a little bit more time to figure out. And if that's the case, then it's like, okay, do you maybe have to go find a part-time job while you, you're you on that part of the journey of trying to figure something out? Um, because I never <laughs> advocate for star- you know anyone starving. You have to be practical about this, this stuff. Uh, if you have the means to, um, so... I was fortunate because at the time, like, so my husband, so we have three co-founders. It's my husband, myself, and, you know, one of my best friends. And at the time that we started, my husband was actually still working full time. Um, So I was myself and and my best friend, Bonner, um, we were in the business full time. And so in a way I was fortunate because there was, you know, there was someone actually earning income. So that, that was my situation, right? So very, very different. Um, so if someone has that set up, then awesome. You probably do have a little bit of time, a little bit of runway to try to figure it out, but you have to figure it out. This is the thing. And, the, and, the, and figuring it out is part of the journey as well. Figuring it out is also committing. Um, it's also going all in on, because I, again, I talk to a lot of people, a lot of entrepreneurs who want to do this and they want to do that. And and I get it because I, I'm, this, I'm like entrepreneurship ADHD, like that's, as we want to do everything. And, you know, oh, there's so many opportunities out there. Um, but at some point for anything to work and take, like, you need to focus on the one thing. And so if you can figure out that if you have, if everything lines up, so you know exactly who it is that you're, you're targeting. You, you know exactly how it is that you're speaking to them. You know the value price. You're in the blue ocean. Go all in on that one thing. Just focus. Like that's that's it. 